So a few weeks ago, we came here and we drilled this well. This well is about 10, 12 feet away from a board well. That well is 345 feet and it makes around 50 gallons a minute. We hit a large vein of water down deep. Now the reason why we drilled that well is because this well is around 50 to 60 foot deep and they can run it dry. It just doesn't fill up fast enough. Now this is a bored well done with a boring machine. That is a drilled well done with an air rotary machine. And what we're gonna do today and the reason for the video is this pump is hanging on PVC pipe. You can tell it's not the typical black roll that you see in a lot of my other videos. Now to pull a well pump out on PVC, you have to be really careful because it will break at every connection. So if yours is done and hung on PVC, you need to find a way to pull it out exactly as I'm gonna show you. Ideally, what I would like to do would be run a brand new water line from the house all the way out here to the brand new well, but the homeowner doesn't want us to do that. He wants us to tie onto the pipe in the ground and tie onto the power in the well. So that's what we're doing. I was only in there about 35 foot. I didn't even know the pump was up 40 yet. I didn't even know the 
Now, why this well pump was like 35, 40 feet, that's relatively shallow. Yours may be in there 100, 150, 200, 300 feet. So on PVC, if you're pulling it out by hand, you have to pull it out as the way we just shown. Where it says 95 foot. I didn't need this. Am I holding up? Now, once you've done your wire connection, you have to secure the wire to the pipe. That'll allow the wire to have a nice long life if you don't do this the wire will chafe and in a couple of years it will expose the copper below the jacket I like to cover up my splice nice and heavy make sure my clamps aren't going to interfere with my wire keep my wire nice and flat and organized Run some tape over top of the clamps, help prevent them from rusting or corroding. And then do a candy cane up this section. And then from here, we will continue all the way up. Now that I've finished taping up the wire, you can see been taped every three feet all the way up the entire length of the pipe which in this case it's 85 feet now this is your well seal and this is how I choose to do it on systems that are 100 feet or less we use a, uh, a plastic elbow two stainless steel clamps and then we transition over to PVC now uh, a little bit of an understanding of uh, well seals these bolts the way that they work it's just a uh, it's a sandwich plate so you have your top portion here and your bottom portion here and then a rubber piece in the center as you tighten these bolts it squeezes the top and the bottom and the rubber kind of swells outward against the casing so when you go to pull it in the future you don't ever take these bolts out you just loosen them up a little bit like so and then that will loosen it up and help the rubber to decompress to where you can actually lift it out of the well never take these bolts out let's go ahead now let's drop it in the well got our plumbing done we're in our new line over here and tied into the old line we ran our wire over here we made our connection there and our well head here we've got that all plumbed up the homeowner thought his tank was still good since it looked somewhat new but we knew it was bad with a quick test so we went ahead and drilled some holes in it to where we could move it and install a new tank and there's the new bladder tank well thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed today's content i hope I taught you a little bit something about uh well pumps hanging on pvc pipes stay tuned for the next video and if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button see y'all later